So if you're watching this video, it means that I got to 40 weeks, which is crazy because a, I just don't know where the time has gone the last nine months. I'm in the same room now as I was when I discovered that I was pregnant and came skipping in with the stick and told Sam, who I think was lying on the floor watching TV, I think it was like a Saturday night actually, and um, he and I looked at each other like, yeah. I think it's different second time round because you're really excited but you also know what a big deal it is having a baby, how amazing and beautiful it is having a child, but also just the general kind of um, life change that it, it creates. A real feeling of excitement, but a real feeling of like, oh gosh. <laughs> but anyway, here I am, 40 weeks pregnant and just waiting really. Wanted to make this video because I haven't done many pregnancy updates. I don't know, just what with being a working mom, having Jack, I just haven't really had the time to sit down and do them like I did first time round. I think I've done a couple, I'll link to them below. But I just want to spend this video talking completely off the cuff, I haven't planned anything. I just want to talk about the first, second and third trimester um, and different kind of things that I've been feeling and going through along the way. So, first trimester, I felt very, very, very tired. With Jack, I felt exhausted, exhausted. I don't think I felt as tired this time, but I felt far more nauseous and sick. I don't know what that means. Um, some people say that's a girl, some people say that's a boy. I have no idea. Um, but I definitely felt worse. And I was sick um, more times. I was sick with Jack like once or twice, but this time around I was sick a couple of times. Like, I don't know, not loads, not loads. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't awful, but... Um, yeah, I felt, I felt worse and much more sick. By about week 22, that passed. So that was my main symptom in trimester one. Trimester two, I felt really good. We went traveling, we went away to Costa Rica for a few weeks, which was the best thing. It was the perfect timing. Took my mind off everything. I felt great, I felt fit. We were doing treks. Um, I was eating really well. It was perfect. I just forgot I was pregnant until the very end when we were waiting in the airport and like things were a bit delayed and then I was like, oh, I feel really big and tired and pregnant. And then the third trimester, well, again, it's flown by. I think the best thing about third trimester is that I took early maternity leave and that for me has been so, so, so phenomenal. My manager was really amazing. I just really really wanted time to think about this birth um, and to spend time with Jack and just to get myself ready for baby number two like I think with baby number one you you just have more time right you just have more time in the evenings to read and prepare and just get in that space when you've already got a toddler trying to get into that birth space could be really really hard and for me I just really really wanted to so taking early maternity leave was the best thing ever I've been able to go swimming, I've been able to get into my hypnobirthing, I've been able to have a little kind of baby shower, so many things. I wrote a blog post on it, I'll link to it below. If you can, I so recommend doing that for number two. Just, yeah, having that time and then you get to, well, in my case, 40 weeks and I just feel so ready. I feel like I've done the revision and I'm just like ready to take the exam, which is a really nice place to be. Yesterday I was making all my music playlists for the labour, I've been having physio, I've done lots of things. And so here I am at 40 weeks, we are planning a home birth, I don't know what's going to happen, I really really desperately want one, but at the same time I'm very realistic and I know that things can happen and I'm well aware that we may have to transfer to hospital and I've got my hospital bag packed. So it's that weird thing when you really, really want something and you really want to focus on it because that will kind of also help manifest it, but you don't want to become so attached to it. I feel like in a good place with it, um, so we shall see. The other thing I'm getting really excited about is gender. We have no idea and the really nice thing is that I have absolutely no preference. I feel like a little brother for Jack would be so cute and I think he'd love that. And they'd be able to really play together and really kind of grow up really tight. I've got a sister and I've got two brothers and I know that my relationship with my sister is so special and my brother's relationship with each other is really special and I don't know, maybe there's something to be said when you have that relationship with... Oh, to have breath. 
but obviously at some point I would love a little girl. That would also be incredible. I have no preference and that's such a nice place to be. We've decided our names as well, finally. We left it till the very last minute, but I think we just about have one boy's name and one girl's name, so that's really cool. I'm just really enjoying this time. I'm in no rush. I don't feel uncomfortable. As I said, I've been having physio and I've been applying lots of ice packs when I do get pain. And I've been napping during the day when Jack naps and he's at nursery today. So I'm literally finishing filming this and I'm gonna get into bed. All in all, I'm feeling good. I'm very excited. I'm obviously a little bit anxious, but because it genuinely could happen any day now, obviously it could, um, I'm 40 weeks. So thank you for watching. I'm excited that you got to see this video. And before I go, I'm gonna show you my bump. So this is it from the front. The side, I kind of feel, um, I don't know if I feel as big as I did with Jack. I will keep you all posted and I'll see you next Sunday for another video when I may well be a mum of two. I may not be, in which case I'll do a 41 week update, um, but I may have another child. I hope everyone's really well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up or a comment and um, yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.